in big, big trouble. Now, number three is the home evaluation. Oh, baby, is that a big one? That's a big one. I need a home evaluation sheet, April. I'm sorry. Anybody got one? Yeah, Phil. Put me up, man. That'd be awesome. All right, so the home evaluation. So, what's the key to the home evaluation? Don't speak out loud. Just hold your hand up and I'm going to call you because I don't want everybody yelling out answers and stuff because it's weird. When that, that, what's the key to the home evaluation? Personalizing it. Personalizing it. There's one. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Okay? What's the key? That's another good one. Number three, what's the key? Re-kill the alarm that's in the room. Okay. Okay, number four, what is it? Asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. Oxygen. Number five, anybody else? What you got? Carbon monoxide. All right, CO. Anybody else? Water damage, who said that? Water damage, okay. Yeah, All right, no, you're good. I just couldn't see you back here. Water, I'm just gonna put water up there. All right, I'm gonna show you what the key to the home evaluation is. What I'm getting ready to show you could literally change your entire career in this company. All right, this thing here that I'm getting ready to show you and coach you on is everything when it comes to selling our products. All right, so what I wanna do, I need a volunteer to come up here with me. Um, I'm gonna get you to come up here. Yeah, I got my eye on you, girl. Walk for special Come on over here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hand the clipboard to the wife. You're gonna hand the clipboard to the wife, and you're gonna go just like this. Okay, Christy. Can you do me a huge favor, Christy? Of course. All right. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna walk around with her and David through their home. And Christy, when we get in your master bedroom, there are some questions we gotta ask. Okay? Can you help me out with that? Sure. All right. Let's go. Okay, now, first question is what, Christy? What can start a fire in this room? All right, very good. What can start a fire in this room? Christy, we're in your bedroom. What is it? Uh, my TV. Your TV, and I'll point to the TV. Very good. What else? Uh, the lamp. The lamp. Very good. What else? Um, my cell phone charger. Cell phone charger. All right, perfect. Now, Cody, what do you see that can start a fire in your bedroom? Did I leave him out? Oh, no. Why? Because you don't know who's buying. Involve them both. Remember the car, the guy, the car dealer that sold my wife and I a car? He left her out. You cannot leave him out. All right? They're both involved. What do you see that can start a fire in here, Cody? Uh, all the uh, cords that we have plugged into the circuit. Oh, yeah, right there, all those cords. Very good. Anything else? Um, probably our, our ceiling fan's pretty old. Ceiling fan's pretty old. That's true. What's the second question? Who does this fire affect first? Okay, now you also got Bryce and Brooklyn and Nathan in your house are sleeping in their bedrooms. If a fire started in this room at 3 o'clock in the morning, your home evaluation is always based off when they're asleep. If you have a fire and hit this house at 3 o'clock in the morning, who does this fire affect first in this bedroom? You guys are in this room with it. Who does it affect, Cody? Me and Nicole. Me and Nicole. You agree with him? Yeah. Okay, next question. Uh, how does it affect us? How does it affect you and Nicole? You tell me. Because uh, our room's going to be on fire. Your room's going to be on fire? How does that affect you? Yeah, we're probably going to be on fire and losing oxygen. Very good. Yeah. Losing oxygen. What's the next question? When do you want to know about this fire? When do you want to know about this fire, Nicole? Immediately. Why do you want to know about it immediately? So I don't die. So you don't die. More <laughs> importantly, you got to get Bryson and Brooklyn and Nathan out of this house, yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. When do you want to know about the fire, Cody? Before it happens. Before it happens. Well, that's not impossible. But you want to know about it right away, right? So, so you can get happens. everybody out of this house because that's what your job is as a dad in this home. Everybody listen. Your job as a dad and your job as a mom is to do what for those kids? Protect them. Protect them. That's your number one job. All right? Now, but I do need to correct you both. I do need you guys to understand. Everybody listen. This is the part I was going to tell you is going to change your career. Everybody listen really close. All right? If you had a fire in this room tonight at 3 o'clock in the morning, I asked you who does it affect first. It's not just you guys. It don't just affect you, Cody. It don't just affect you. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I'm in the room with it. It only affects us first. It doesn't affect you first. It affects Bryson, Brooklyn, Nathan, you, and you. 
Now, the question is, how does it affect them? How does it affect them? Remember the third question? How does it affect Bryson, Brooklyn, Lake? And they ain't even in the room with it. It's the fire's pulling the oxygen from my body. Fire's pulling the oxygen. You got it. High five. You got it. Now, let me ask you a question. When do you want to know about the fire's pulling oxygen from Brooklyn? Immediately. Why? Why do you want to know about it immediately? So I can get her fresh air. You're an awesome mom. Good for yeah. you. What a great mom you are. That's selling this product. All right. Have a seat. Cool. Have a seat. All right. So check this out. I'm going to coach you guys up on this a little bit. What a great looking house. That's <laughs> <laughs> just uh, the main floor. I'm telling you, man, I would have paid for this house. <laughs> All right. I need you guys to really get dug in on this with me. So, let's say that the fire's right here. We'll move out of the way so everybody can see it. Everybody look on the board. The fire's right here. Nathan's sleeping in his bed. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Brooklyn sleep. Bryson sleep. David and Christy are asleep. We can't do nothing for anybody while we're asleep, can we? Everybody sound asleep. Three o'clock in the morning. Fire breaks out in our kitchen. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, who does that fire affect first? What do you think they're going to say? They're going to say Nathan or you and Christy. All right? And then you're going to say, how does it affect them? And then you're going to say, they're, they're, going, to say, they're, they're going to say, well, it's, they're right beside the fire. This is what goes through customers' heads. It's right beside, they're right beside the fire. But when do you want to know about that fire right there, David and Chrissy? I want to know about it right away. Well, hang on. I need to help y'all. This is where you step in and coach them. Remember, you're a safety advisor. If you're not advising them, they're not going to buy nothing from you. So I need them to understand. Well, hold on, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Let me go back to question number two. Who does that fire affect first? If you had a fire in your kitchen, okay, what's happening is, just for you guys to understand, let's say that's a doorway. Let's say... That's a doorway, and that's a doorway. All right? Bryson, Nathan, they're sleeping in their bed. I'm telling you, when you get this, it'll change everything for you, man. Okay, we're sleeping in our bed. They're sleeping in our bed. The fire starts. That's what's happening, guys. This is real life stuff. This isn't what I'm making up. So if a fire broke out in the kitchen, let's say this is the kitchen and that's a bedroom right there and bedroom down there, bedroom right here and bedroom right here. Let's act like this is really the kitchen. So you see this right here? What's that? That's called a door header. You know what that does in a fire? It blocks it. And you need to explain this in a house. So a fire is hitting this ceiling. Where does heat and smoke go? Uh -oh. It goes up. The smoke is hitting that wall, that wall, that wall, and that wall. What it's doing, guys, is it's working its way down just like an upside-down bathtub, filling your room up full of smoke. You know what's happening when it's filling up your room full of smoke? It's sucking Brooklyn's oxygen away from her room straight to the fire. It's sucking Nathan's oxygen from his room straight to the fire. It's pulling David, yours, and Christie's oxygen down this hallway to the fire. And it's also pulling Bryson's oxygen, Nathan's oxygen from his room to the fire. When do you want to know about that fire, David? Why? Why do you want to know about that fire immediately is doing all this? So it doesn't keep growing and eating the oxygen. It doesn't keep growing and taking the oxygen away. Good for you, Tom. When do you want to know about it, Christie? And she'll say, right away. You say, why? Why do you want to know about that right away? Why do you want to know about all this, pulling all this oxygen away? All right? And then she'll, right away. Very good. You guys are awesome parents. That's a pre-closing statement. You guys are awesome parents. I love how you love protecting your kids. Good for you. Good for you. You think they're going to be able to say no to you later if you do this? 
you got to do a good job with this, guys. This is where the sale's truly made. This is your last chance. But you getting ready to ask for five grand, Brandon. This is our last chance to do it. So the more you using this laser pointer and showing these door headers, and then look, I love talking about it's like an upside down bathtub. That's a great illustration to people. If you fill the bathroom tub full of water, it just rises, right? Think about this like an upside down bathtub. Smoke just keeps on filling it up. It's hitting that wall, that wall, that wall, and that wall. It's working its way down like an upside down bathtub until it gets right about there, Nicole. And once it gets right there, then it leaks under there and goes into Bryce's room. Do you want to know about it while it's in this room? Yeah. Or do you want to know about it when it's taking everybody's oxygen and leaking up underneath those rooms and those doorheaders? Right here. Very good. You're a great mom. Good for you. I love how you want to protect your kids. Okay? So we'll, put, we'll pay to put your OmniShield heat sensor in this kitchen. All you got to do is follow these questions. All you got to do is follow these questions. It says, what can start a fire in this, in this room? <laughs> Who does this fire affect first? How does it affect them? Now, the only thing that's missing is the, is the names. I can't put their names on here for you. You gotta say, how does it affect Bryce? How does it affect Brooklyn? All right? What do you wanna know about that fire that's pulling oxygen away from Brooklyn? Why do you wanna know about it? I mean, it seems ridiculous, but this is pre-closing questions. You don't skip any of these questions. And you do them in every room. My walkthrough takes about a half hour. You know why it takes a half hour? Because I know this is where my sales made. I know this is where I get them. <coughs> I don't just go into a room and be like, we can start a fire in here. All right? Yeah, when do you want to know about that fire? All right, we'll put, I, I've seen it. I know what people do. We'll put, a, we'll put a heat sensor right here in this room. You mark it on that sheet, and then they go to the next room, the next room, the next room, the next room. <coughs> Again, it's the names. It's the names of Bryson, Brooklyn, and Nathan, and, and, and David, and Christy. It's not your daughter. And, and then you've got to literally show them with this. This laser pointer is their oxygen. Pulling here. Does that make sense? <coughs> this laser point, pointer is their oxygen coming from their room. Literally walk down the hallway saying, Brooklyn's oxygen's leaving her room, just like me. I am her oxygen and coming right here. When do you want to know about that? So when I ask you guys a question, <coughs> what's the key to the home evaluation? What's your answer now? It's oxygen. If you are really going to be great at this business, you really want to be a world champ, you really want to be on the front cover of that magazine, you really want to build a mega team, you really want to have good, strong closing percentages, it's the alarm kill on the wall through. It's the alarm kill on the wall through. Of course, you got to do a good job with the warm up. But if you don't nail the home evaluation with asphyxiation, you're in big trouble. Why? Here's why. Because when I walk around that house, if they just think they only need one in the kitchen because there's a fire in the kitchen, that ain't good enough. You need a fire, you need an alarm in your kitchen because if a fire happens in there, what's happening to the oxygen? <coughs> it's all going to the kitchen. All right, let me give you guys another, a, another illustration on this. There's two ways that people fear dying. I know they're mine too. What are they? Drowning, Drowning, Drowning burning. and burning. All right, come here for a second. All right, I'm not playing games right now. I'm being dead serious. Okay, so imagine this is Bryson. He's my son, okay? And he's in the pool. All right, now put your head down. He's in the pool and he's drowning. He's drowning right now. The only way I can save Bryson is do what? Pull him up where he can breathe. That's no different than a house fire. It's the same thing. You're dying the same way. If you're underwater, you what? Can't even breathe. If you're in a house fire, guess what? You can't breathe. It's the same thing. You have to see. It's the same thing, guys. You can use that illustration on a home evaluation if you want to. When you get to who does that fire affect first, how does it affect them? The coach, just like somebody's holding Bryson's head on the water. He can't breathe. He can't breathe. It's like an intruder broke into your house and put a pillow on your son Bryson's head. He can't breathe. Until what? Your alarm has to go off, and what do you got to do for Bryson? You got to get him up and do what? Get him out. We got to go outside that front door, and then he'll go like this. Ah, I can breathe. That's a good home evaluation. That's when they get it. And that's when you get to that close, and you really lay that close down on them. They're like, damn, man, I need them in every room. No, that's not overselling. That's not overkilling. I've been to people's office, they're like, man, how do you sell them in every room? <laughs> That's how you sell it in every room. Now watch this. 
it's not just smoke and heat and carbon monoxide doing this to them. All right? Let's say we're in your bathroom. What can start a water leak in this room? Toilet. Toilet. What else? Sink. Sink. Very good. Bathtub. Who does that water leak affect first? It's the same questions. Who does that water leak affect first? All of us. How does it affect you? If it breaks the toilet or if it breaks the bathroom floor. You got water floor. damage, right? Yeah. Well, let me show you the truth about that there, Brandon. Check this out. If you had a water leak under that sink and it sits there for 24 to 48 hours, read that to me and tell me what that says. Take that. According to FEMA, mold can start to grow on a damp surface within 24 to 48 hours. Molds can cause mild to severe health problems. Okay. So again, your number one job as a dad is to do what? Protect. Protect Bryson, Brooklyn, and Nathan. If you had a water leak under that sink, when would you know about it? When would you find out about a water leak? When it was too late. Yeah, you'd literally have to either step in water or put your hand under there to find the water, right? Right. Okay, now who does that water leak affect? Everybody, dude, because 24 hours to 48 hours after that water is just sitting there, mold can be created. Do you know mold goes all through your air? Bryce and Brooklyn, they can be breathing that. When would you even know that they even got mold poisoning? It's really Till it's good. time to take them to the hospital. Right. How important is to put a water sensor under there? Extremely. Good for you, man. You're a great dad. Build value to them water sensors. Then when I get them to the close... We're giving you all the water sensors. We're throwing them in. Same thing you guys are doing. We're throwing them in there, dude. We're throwing them in. But if you don't do what I just taught you, the value's not there for the water sensors. Man, all right, so I keep giving you guys stories. I was at this office, Carmen. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I never tried. All right, so I was at this office. I have, I'm telling you, they do a great home evaluation. I mean, shit, they're probably better than I am at it, and that's great. I loved it. I was like, wow, what a great home evaluation. They get to the close, and the customer's like, I don't need the water sensors. Can you just take that off the price? He said, I'm giving them to you, but I don't need them. What did he not do? There's no value for this water sensors. But meanwhile, we're giving them away, and we're showing them this price where we're knocking the price down for the water sensors. If you do a good job at the water sensor part, where you're talking about mold, 24 to 48 hours, it's your kids are breathing in that mold, the value's there. Then when you get to the close, you say, we're giving those to you. They're like, oh my God, that's awesome. Versus, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's a big difference, isn't it? David? And then when you close, your closing percentage will rise. You gotta build value for those water sensors, guys. Hell, y'all should be the best in the world at building value for the water sensors. Last week, we literally had somebody say that they've lived in the house for 10 years. They've never had a water problem, <laughs> and they never will. Good luck on that. What did that safety advisor not do, Eli? Not build value. Yeah, crazy. You got to ask questions. Remember earlier, we said questions are the answers. They always have been. They always will be. The people that ask the right questions at the right time get the most protections. It's always been like that in sales. And it don't matter what product you're selling. It's about questions. It's about asking the right questions at the right time. The good news is the questions are right there for you. The only thing that's missing is their names and your passion. That's the only thing. We don't have enough room to put the questions on there for water. Just remember, it's the same questions. The only thing you're going to say is, instead of what can start a fire, you say, what can cause a water leak in this room? Who does this water leak affect first? And they'll look at you like, what? What do you mean? Well, if you had a water leak, who does it affect? They would look at you sideways like, what are you talking about, Tom? Well, there's, there's something that can, it can really hurt you. It can really hurt you. Here, take a look at this, Mr. and Mrs. Customers, right there on your, on your home evaluation sheet. And then all you do is you point to it. It's right there. Read that to me, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. And they read it just like Brandon did. According to FEMA, mold can start to grow on a damp surface within 24 to 48 hours. Mold can cause mild to severe health problems for Bryson, Brooklyn, and Nate. All right? All it works like this, dude. Water sits underneath your sink. You don't reach in there and grab nothing, so you don't know it's there. It don't leak into the floor, so you don't step in it, so you don't know it's there. 24 to 48 hours, it turns into black mold. You're breathing that crap in. Could you get sick? How important is to put something under there? Good for you, you're a great dad. That's easy enough. You ain't really gotta go through all these questions for water, but you definitely need to do it. No value, no protection, guys.
No value in the burn-free kit. They don't even think they want